Hello, my name is Elle Hanley, and in today's editing guidance tutorial, I'd like to share with you my favorite way to convert a color image to a dynamic black and white. Now, there are lots of ways to do this, of course, and probably the easiest thing is to just simply pull up your hue saturation and slide your saturation all the way down. And there you go, voila, you have a black and white image. And in many cases, that's probably exactly what you need. Um, but I do find that most of the time, what it produces is a very gray black and white image with not, you know, your whites aren't really white and your darks aren't really that dark. And that's okay. Like I say, sometimes that works just fine. But sometimes you want something that's a little bit more maybe high key or just dynamic in its range. So my favorite way to do that is to just go to your adjustment layers and go to black and white. This gives you several sliders where you get to control the original color in your color image, therefore affecting how it converts to black and white. And it's really just as simple as moving all these sliders around. You can see I'm affecting the reds in the image. Um, and you just slide it around until you get it somewhere where you like it. Do that with the yellows, the greens, the blues, and the magentas as well. And like I say, it's really just a matter of sliding them around to see what's getting affected and what you like and where you want to leave that. This should affect the sky. Make that maybe a little bit darker. Probably the darkest parts of the sky, I'm guessing. And magenta. Sometimes you'll see magenta affected in skin tone, but it doesn't seem to be doing too much on this image. Anyway, so there you go. It's just as simple as um, sliding all of, all of the sliders for the various colors that are in your color image. And we have gone from converting this color image to a dynamic black and white with a little bit more contrast and a little bit more impact. So there you are. I hope that that was uh, helpful for you and that's something that you can use in your editing. Um, I very much appreciate you looking at my tutorial. And if you have any questions for me or you have something that you'd like to see me explain, please let me know what that is. Just send me a message. If you are unfamiliar with my work, I would appreciate if you go to my website at lhanley.com and check it out. Thank you very much for your time and watching this um, tutorial. Thank you. Talk to you later. Bye.